Hey everyone, Mr. Magintosh here, and today Apple released the brand new public beta for macOS Sonoma. And you might want to jump in and get started testing, but before you do, I want to show you how to install the new public beta because Apple changed how to enroll into the beta program this year, and you have to use an Apple ID. So I'm going to walk you through that. Plus, I need to give you a warning because if you want to be able to install the beta on a secondary volume on your hard drive or an external hard drive, Apple changed the way this is also done this year, so you don't want to get caught off guard by accidentally installing it on your main drive if you don't want to. So I'm going to go over that and more next. I wanted to first go over the three different Apple beta programs that are offered. First is the public beta, as you see here, that is for most people who want to be able to test the brand new software. Then there's the developer program that is for software developers to be able to use Xcode and the latest OS to be able to develop applications. And then finally, there's Apple C for IT that is for Apple administrators in business or education to be able to learn how to manage Mac OS in that environment. So that's how you pick the different software programs that you would like to be a part of. But you're here for the beta software program for the public. The public comes out one month later, and that's because the software is a little bit more mature by this time. There's gone through three separate betas. Apple tries to make it as stable as they can, but still being beta software. And that's a little bit of a warning. Don't install this on your main device if you count on this every day for your main device. Use it on a separate partition, a external hard drive, or a separate computer to be able to test if you need this for for your production device or your daily use. Now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about how to get enrolled and install the new Mac OS Sonoma beta. Now, like I mentioned in the intro, it's changed this year. You now have to have an Apple ID that's associated with one of these betas that we just went over to be able to have it show up in Mac OS Ventura to be able to install. All you need to do is go to beta.apple.com. And once you get to the main landing page, all you need to do is sign up. Or if you're already signed in and used Mac OS Ventura beta in the past, you can just click here and sign in and you'll have immediate access. But if you don't have an Apple ID that has any beta associated with it, all we need to do is click on the sign up button. We'll be brought to the Apple ID sign in with an Apple ID that you want to have associated with the beta. Now, just because you have it associated with the beta doesn't mean that you're going to always have it associated with the beta. You can turn that on and off and I can show you that in our demonstration unit here today. And this is the switch here that you'll be able to turn it off. So just because you're signing with your Apple ID doesn't mean you have to install beta. You can just turn that off or turn it back on if you want to be able to install the beta. Once you sign in here, we'll go to the next part. All right, now we're signed in to beta.apple.com with our Apple ID, and now it is associated with that Apple ID that I used to sign in. And you can look at all the information Apple has here for the documentation, for the guide, the enroll your devices, and providing feedback to Apple about the beta programs. And you can see that we can have different ways to provide feedback with the feedback assistant. We have diagnostic user data and making sure that we back up our Mac first before we start with installing any type of beta software. And that's one of the most important things that if you don't do, you're just gonna run into trouble later. But this is a good thing to start doing if you haven't started it already. We can now go over to our demonstration Mac and show you how to change the beta track to the public beta. Now, like I mentioned before in the intro, Apple changed the way that the beta program is enrolled this year. Now, what that means is, is you can't just download the beta utility app from anywhere and just run that and be in the beta, or you can't use the seed utility terminal command to be able to just enroll you in any beta you want. That is all deprecated now and does not work anymore. So that's why that first part that we went through by signing up with our Apple ID is critical here. You'll notice in our demonstration Mac, we are not signed in with Apple ID. So the first thing we need to do is make sure you sign in with your Apple ID and we'll continue next. Okay, we're signing in with my fake Apple ID tester account here. So all we need to do now is go to solve for update. And what you should see here is a beta updates pane now under the automatic updates. If you don't, close system settings and then reopen it and you should see that up here. Go back into general and then software update. 
and then you should be able to see this here. Now, once you see that, you can click on this information box here to be able to select the beta update track that you want that's associated with your Apple ID. So when we click this, it's already defaulted off. It's not gonna immediately turn it on for you. With this Apple ID, I'm a part of the developer beta and the public beta. Now keep in mind, you can also still go into the Ventura beta to be able to test Ventura updates, but we are concentrating on Mac OS Sonoma public beta today, and that's the one we're gonna click. So once we click that, it's immediately on that track. Click on done. And now it's going to check the software update server for any macOS Sonoma public beta version. And finish checking here. And there we go. There's our macOS Sonoma beta, and it is ready to upgrade or install on this Mac. Now that we have that all done, now we have to talk about the warning that I mentioned to you earlier in the video to be very careful before you click this button. We're going to go over that next. Now for the warning before you install the beta, Apple has changed the way the new upgrades are installed with macOS Ventura and macOS Sonoma. In the past, if you click this upgrade now, it would download the full installer app and you would use that application to either install on an external hard drive, a separate volume or partition, or on the main drive. But the way it's installed now is it upgrades your main Mac. So if you click this here, you will not get the opportunity to pick external drive or a separate volume. It will upgrade your main system. And this is, I can't tell you how many people got caught up in this. And I don't blame them because it's, it, don't get me wrong, it's a nice feature because of how quickly it installs. It's half the size. It's six gigabytes compared to the 12 or 13 gigabytes it takes to install the full installer. And it's also twice as fast. While this is nice, it definitely can catch some people off guard if they've installed betas in the past where they're expecting to get the decision where they want to install the beta. If you want to upgrade your main Mac or the Mac that you have this all installed on as a test Mac, hit this and you're ready to go. Obviously back up first. Then it, click this and you'll be on Mac OS Sonoma beta in no time. But if you want to install it on a separate volume, like Apple lays out here, install more than one version of Mac OS on your Mac where you're creating an APS volume or a separate container, you can do that but that's why Apple shows the full installer app right here. I have a list of full installers from my page that you can download directly from Apple. So you can see here, this is the first public beta. And if you look down here in the bar here at the bottom, you can see that this comes directly from Apple. I grab all these links here directly from Apple software update server, and you can download the full 13 gigabyte full installer for Mac OS Sonoma. So you can install on a separate hard drive or a separate volume, and that gives you the opportunity to install it anywhere or you can even put it on a usb installer and boot to it with apple silicon or intel and that's how you install onto a second volume and that's kind of the warning that i wanted to go over so you're not accidentally installing mac os sonoma on your main device when you want to install on a separate hard drive or volume now let's go over how to uninstall the beta or unenroll from the beta program apple lays out how to unenroll your mac from the beta now let's say you tried the beta and it's not working out so well and you want to get out of it what you can do is you can just simply turn off the beta option here in software update like i showed you in the demo earlier in this video you just click on software update then click the i icon right here and then click on off and then hit done and now you're put back on the main track now the tricky part is if you're doing Mac OS Sonoma, you're stuck on that beta version until what Apple calls the next commercial version is released. Now, what that means is, is that's going to be the production version in the fall, the commercial release, the public release of the final version. When that comes out, it will show up here in software updates, and then you'll be off the beta track on a public version. Now, if you can't wait that long, then you're going to have to do what they call is restore a prior release of Mac OS. When we want to restore like Mac OS Ventura, for example, it's not as easy as just 
reinstalling over the top, you have to do a full erase and install. Whether you do it with a USB drive or you have an Apple Silicon, Apple doesn't even recommend that. And they recommend restoring your Mac with Apple Configurator 2 with a second Mac. That's why I did that warning and another warning here. Make sure you know what you're doing before we do the beta because the restoration to the previous version is not easy at all and it requires a full erase and reinstall. Now I'm going to go over that in a future video here so I can you can watch me go through the whole process because it's different in Apple Intel devices and Apple Silicon devices to be able to restore the proper way. And that's installing the Mac OS public beta for Mac OS Sonoma. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions and we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks.